Hey everyone, the software that everyone uses at all the visual effects company called Teradici got an Emmy for basically defeating the speed of light problem. I'm going to give you some tips and include some links that might help you manage your Teradici experience a little better. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more information on visual effects, animation, news, and interviews. So Teradici is a software that most of the visual effects and animation studios use to connect people remotely to the computers. Now, even before COVID, they were growing around the world in visual effects and animation because they're the primary way that most people get from their home computers out to the studio's computers to work remotely, or if they wanna work on the cloud from home or from the office, they were likely using the Teradici software. Their PC over IP, PCOIP, uh, their, their, their software is not only deployed widely, but it's actually adopted and integrated into other remote products because it's just the best way to get pixels across the internet and to your screen and make it feel like the computer's sitting right in front of you. I mean, imagine this. You're basically working on a visual effects workstation, sometimes a 2K or even a 4K dual monitor setup. And you've got an artist working with a Wacom pen, which is basically like a mouse on steroids. A Wacom pen that artists use is more than just X and Y data. It's sending all that pressure data and tilt data, uh, basically so that an artist can use it like a brush. And that's just a streaming amount of data that has to get all the way out to that computer that's sometimes hundreds if not thousands of miles away, and then has to come back to the screen of that artist and have it feel like they're just painting on a, on a page with no lag, but latency is huge sometimes between locations. So let me explain latency and the whole speed of light problem and how they defeated it. When you send a signal around the world to another part of the globe, it takes hundreds of milliseconds for that signal to get there. That's because no matter how fast it gets, the speed of light only goes so fast. Now, if you're trying to compute across halfway across the globe and the computer is processing thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of instructions every second, a whole half a second is a lifetime to a computer. What Teradici did is they worked first to put in a video card many years ago and then eventually graduated to using NVIDIA video cards. They, they paired up with NVIDIA. It allows them to give you the experience when you're thousands of miles away of sitting right in front of the computer. Furthermore, they worked with the Wacom company. So the tablets that everybody uses to paint with a pen, they worked with that company to make sure that they could create sort of a feedback loop so that the artist sitting in front of the uh, pen can write on the, pen, on the uh, tablet and a thousand miles away is actually where the computer is that's drawing the line and getting all the way back to the screen of the artist who's working with the Wacom tablet. It's, it's a mind blowing level of technology that they're able to basically create sort of a ongoing Netflix stream to your screen of a computer from a thousand miles away. And as you type and as you move your pen, you get onto your screen an immediate feedback where it feels like the computer's right in front of you. And this has revolutionized remote work and then COVID And when COVID came, they went the extra mile. They created really short license periods so everyone could just get onto the software and not have to buy one year license subscriptions. They, they just made a three month license so everyone could get home and get working. So after they started getting into the COVID response, they went and validated video cards that were too low for them to really validate. They were too uh, low end or older or, or cheaper, basically cards. Uh, they went ahead and extended their coverage to those cheaper cards because they knew not everyone could go buy a brand new video card just to get people working from home. And now pretty much every studio in one way or another uh, is dependent on Teradici. Uh, everyone who's using the cloud or most people who are using the cloud for visual effects and animation are using Teradici to get to that cloud. So they deserve the Emmy. Kudos to them for creating a technology that basically defeated the speed of light. You can't make light go faster. Einstein and a bunch of other scientists already explained that to us. So they went ahead and worked with the speed of light and made it so it felt like you were in front of your computer even if it was thousands of miles away. And that is amazing. Now I said I would include a few tips. Most of them are rooted around using older video cards. A lot of folks use GeForce video cards from NVIDIA and those are a little more difficult to make work, but they're completely 
workable within the Teradici environment. So I'll include a few links here that teach you how to use an older GeForce card, which is now approved by Teradici and is a, uh, a validated product. Um, there's a few workarounds, again, if you want to remove the monitors from the computers and stack them in a room. A lot of people are doing that these days. Again, an extra couple of steps you need to do with GeForce cards. And I'll put those links in here as well as buried in these links is going to be a link to a reset procedure. So you can just run a little EXE that's probably already on your computer if you have Teradici, and that will reset the monitors back to square one. So if the monitors get out of sync with the on-site monitor and uh, resolutions don't match and somebody's getting a black screen on one end, well, you can just run this EXE and it resets everything back to zero. I'm going to again include those links below. Big thanks to Teradici for giving me some of those links. Some of them have just been published in the last few days. So this is sort of hot off the press and perfect timing for this Emmy win. If you haven't checked out Terry, go check out their website. Talk to you later.